Hey friends, Derek from Tech Connection here. And this episode, I'm gonna show you some tools that will make Cat6 cabling faster and better. Let's get started. Number one, ceiling entry protector. The Stingray is a cable protector that you mount on the ceiling grid in order to prevent damaging your cable or the grid itself. Perhaps this has happened to you. You've damaged your ceiling tile or you've shaved the jacket of your cables. The Stingray is here to prevent that from happening. At only a couple of dollars, there's no reason not to have it in every single toolbox that you've got, while your staff should use it when pulling into a drop ceiling environment. As something that's cheap, affordable, and simple, it's one of the perfect tools you can use to enhance your cable pull. Number two, Pulling Pal Cable Pulley. This is a Cat6 specific cable pulley. It's called the Pulling Pal, and it lets one technician work much more efficiently. You've probably had to deal with going around corners, taking sharp turns up and down into a ceiling, out of a ceiling. The pulling pile lets one technician work very efficiently. And after you've run your cables, you don't need to take this out of the ceiling. Pulley actually breaks in half, allowing you to lift your bundle out and set up for the next bolt. A technician can combine more than one pulling pile to get around really difficult obstacles. This allows you to work much more efficiently. Again, at only a couple of dollars, there's no reason not to have it in every single toolbox that you've got. Number three, cable cone. The cable cone does not specifically make your job go any faster. However, it makes your job look a thousand percent better. This simple device, when you run it through your mess of wires, will smooth out your bundle, allowing you to strap every eight to 12 inches to create a beautiful cable braid that you can then begin to terminate. There's really no comparison to using this versus not using this. The difference is quite obvious. When you comb even a small bundle with not many cables, you'll still love the outcome. Number four, all-in-one tools. All-in-one tools can be used to save you an immense amount of time. Even an unskilled technician who's not very fast can get a lot of jacks terminated using this technique. You do have to settle on a specific brand that you prefer, but if you get the all-in-one tool that matches your brand and you stick with that brand on every job that you do, your deployment time will increase hugely. Your individual technicians can get a lot more done with a single punch doing all eight versus an individual punch tool doing one wire at a time. It's easier on your hands and you don't get fatigued as quickly. And when you're not fatigued, you'll make fewer mistakes. If you combine the all-in-one tool with an unloaded patch panel such as this, you can terminate a patch panel in record time. It's also easier to deal with the bundle of cables because you can pre-measure in advance, terminate outside of this panel, and then click them into position. It's much easier for a new technician who's less skilled to perform this work. Now, why don't I demonstrate how easy it is to do? You just strip the wire, Remove the jacket, get your jack ready, lay your conductors into the tracks. Once you've got it laid in, one punch in the tool. Attach your dust jacket and you're done. Now, you can do that faster than I can I'm not even very good, but that's the point. Someone that's not very good can do a lot of these with a little bit of work without getting tired and fewer errors. Number five, cable managers with a cartridge back end. This cartridge style cable manager is something that we use very often to improve the look of our racks. You cannot always control what kind of switch the user is going to give you. Sometimes the ports on that switch just don't line up with your patch path, and it's not possible to use six inch shorties to patch in everything. With a cartridge style cable manager, you don't get to see what's going on inside the cartridge. There'll be a cover, and then the users who ultimately maintain the switch and their rack won't see the mess that you had to go through to get it to reach their switch. Most of these also have a rear entry port allowing you to hide the uplink cables between switches. 
Nothing worse than an ugly cable for uplink purposes right on the front of your rack. The deeper the cartridge, the easier it is to hide the strain relief and loops that you've made, say for fiber optic patch cables, in order to maintain thin radius. You don't necessarily have to use the meat patch. Chatsworth, Panduit, Corning, they all make a version of this. Use whichever brand you're comfortable with. A large cable manager such as this is not always appropriate or the best way to go. Sometimes you can do a much better job with just six inch patch cords. But when you need the room, there's nothing that beats these. Number six, combination testing and toning tools. As a cabling installer, you probably live and die by your cable certifier or tester. We use these a lot, but not everyone can afford Fluke or worse, Lantech or any of the other expensive testers. Oftentimes in the small shop, you've got a single tool and everyone's fighting for it. But did you know on Amazon's website, you can find cheap knockoffs that do 80% of what the Fluke or the Lantech do. For under $100, you can find a unit that tests Cat6 or fiber optic cables in one. It's cheap enough that you can put one in every toolbox. That way, there's no fighting over the tools anymore and everyone maintains their own. When everyone has access to the same great tester, everyone's working more efficiently. And that's what you want. Of course, at some point, you're going to want to have that Fluke or that Lantec or something equally expensive in order to certify your cables. That's okay. Use the little one until you get that big job that's worth ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 and go ahead and make that investment in the big tester. You can keep using this one and if you break it or lose it on the job, you will be so sad as you will be when you lose that very expensive tier two certified. Always try to work smarter, not on it. These are just some of the tools that I use to make my job easier. Hope this video has been informative, and if you liked it, please subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. There are many more tools that I use that I might share with you in a future video, but if you have suggestions, feel free to drop me a line. I always like to learn. Thanks. See you next time.